your emotions like yesterday uh, or whenever you found out you made the team uh, and you know obviously nobody wanted JK to get hurt but what's it been like to kind of settle in into the decision? Oh, I felt good man because uh, like I said just putting in the work day in day out you know you don't really control those factors um, all you just try to do is just put yourself in the best position and um, I felt like I did that. Seven, what was, take us kind of behind the scenes what was the conversation like how did you find out that you were going to be on the team? Uh, I mean, I kind of uh, had a like, talk with uh, Coach Harbaugh, um, kind of going to the last game, you know, um, and then some things were kind of said to me, you know, like pregame in Washington, you know what I mean? Just kind of go out there, continue to do what I did, and, um, you know, to put myself in position, you know, to, to make the 53. So uh, those are just some of the conversations, but uh, it wasn't solidified until, you know, like, like I said yesterday. And then yesterday, 4 o'clock comes and goes, and, and you know that you're on it. Yeah. What's the first call you make, and what was that afternoon like? Oh, I didn't really make a call. Uh, I didn't really make a call. Um, it was crazy because, like, um, I saw, like, my mom, she came up to, uh, to visit, and uh, I was just trying to see, like, if she would say anything about it, but she didn't even say anything about it. So, um, you know, a couple of my friends, they reached out, you know, just saying, uh, you know, they were proud of me and stuff like that. So um, those things just meant, meant a lot to me. I mean, now when you look at the journey, I mean, the North Carolina all the way to this point, so many different stops, not being drafted, to be here right now, stand at the podium talking about being a Raven and the role you're going to have with this offense. What's it been like? Yeah, man, it's, uh, it's crazy, man. Uh, really, I mean, words just can't describe it, you know, but like I said, you know, you just try to, you just keep pressing forward, you know, keep putting in the work, um, you know, you, you let everything else take care of itself. Where does that come from, though, that when, you're not, when it's not handed to you and, you know, you realize there are guys ahead of you, you've got to go past, where do you get the, the fight, the will, beat the self down? Uh, probably just from my family. My mom, you know, she joined the military uh, almost like 20, she's like 20 years in now, so um, just kind of got that work ethic, work ethic from her. And she played sports, like, early on with the college, she played basketball, so uh, I probably just say I got it from her. Yeah, when people talk to teammates and coaches about you, you always bring about physicality, so physical. Where, where, have you always been that way at, as a runner and everything you've done, or was there a certain point when you kind of learned that you had to be that way? Yeah, uh, I think you know as a player you continue to grow. Um, and it's probably just something I just started to lean more, um, like lean more on, on as I've uh, you know grown as a player. But uh, yeah, I man, I mean it's, it's a physical game we're playing, so you know why not? Not only did you make the 53 man roster, but you're expected to contribute in year one you know, here. Uh, how exciting is that? Oh, it was very exciting. Very exciting, but uh, like I said I just try to keep the same approach, you know, doing the things that got me here, and uh, I know they'll they'll take me far. Python, go ahead, John. I, I know you signed with the 90-man roster pretty late in the process last year. I mean, was there ever any doubt that like, man, I might not even get an audition before the season starts? Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, like I said, I mean, I don't really try to think about outside things. I just try to control what I can control. Um, like I said, you know, I felt like uh, even from last year, you know, I felt like I just, you know, I did what was asked, you know what I mean? And um, outside of that, you know, I don't really have any, any, any control. I know you got the call yesterday that you're part of the 53, but it seemed like you were doing well enough early in camp to know that you were going to make the team. Was there a time where you felt like you had turned a corner or, man, I'm, I think I'm going to be part of this running back room? Uh, I mean... Camp and practices are good. And like I said, you know, you kind of go out there, you work hard. But I feel like games are probably the most important. You know, those are real live reps against another team. Um, and then, you know, once the game started, you know, I start playing the games and, you know, start playing at a high, uh, high level, you know, which I've been practicing that way also. But, you know, I think games are really, really important to kind of instill that confidence in you. That's when you knew when you were contributing in games. Mm -hmm. All right. Is there a running back whose style you try to emulate? Uh. Not really, man. I kind of look at uh, a couple of different guys, uh, like Alvin Kamara, um, you know, Aaron Jones, um, Le'Veon Bell from you know previously. But uh, yeah, I just kind of look at guys and see how they play, and just you know take pieces of their game and try to add it to mine. Tyson, you you just mentioned several backs who catch a lot of passes. I mean, mm -hmm. that was something we talked to J.K. about a lot. Obviously, is that how have you worked on that part of your game? And, and do, you, do you feel like you're in a place to contribute that way right away? Yeah, I, I mean, that's always been like a part of my game. You know what I mean? Just trying to be a complete back, you know, catching the ball out of the backfield, I feel like it's, it's, it's very important. You me, talked about this already, but uh, you scored a, a pretty big touchdown in one of your three season games. It was a pretty physical one at that. Have you uh, 
talked about that yet? Or, and what was that like? Uh, it was great, man. Uh, it was just a great moment, you know, just kind of like I said, you know, uh, for me, um, you know, coming off the injury and stuff like that, just getting back out there, just playing at a high level, um, you really you just can't beat it. What's it like working with Lamar and the Reed? Because he's he's so special and had just a running back. I mean, knowing how they have to account for him, how exciting is that that you know there are going to be holes because of that for you? Yeah, it's very exciting, very exciting. You know, like I said, you know, uh, he's a big part of the offense. And like I said, they have to, you know, devote a lot of attention to him. So um, as backs, we kind of have to exploit that. Tyson, I was just going to ask you um, your thoughts on, you know, the, the running back duo now, you and Gus. Uh, you know, what do you think you guys both bring this season with? Yeah, I think we bring a, a – both have like you know similar similar games at some points, but I think we kind of I mean Gus kind of does his thing. I kind of do mine as well. But um, he's a great back man, and uh, like I said, kind of went through the same journey I did. You know what I mean? So um, you know a lot of questions that I had early on. You know I would ask him, but um, I think I think we're ready.